Good afternoon, railroaders. We have got a huge box here full of model trains to open up today. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I know there's going to be some really cool trains that are going to be hitting the shelves at my antique model train store very, very soon. But now, guys, let's get to the main event of this video. We've got a box full of trains here that we're going to open up together. I'm super, super excited to see what exactly is inside this box. Wow, guys, what we have here is a whole ton of HO scale freight cars, over 75 to be exact freight and passenger cars in this box. This is a huge, huge haul. And I'm really excited because we get to look through it all together. So let's see, what do we want to grab here first? We'll get the probably the least exciting stuff out of the way. We've got some lifelike cars in here. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way. Up first is one of the common ones, the Erie Lackawanna box car. This one, you know, I, I, I do hate on lifelike a little bit on this channel, if you've noticed, but we'll give this one credit. This is not the most outlandish car I've ever seen in my life. It's not some kind of crazy bright color. That would look rather convincing if you were to put that in a freight yard or something. So, you know, not off to a bad start with the lifelike stuff. Here's one maybe a little bit more bright than we would like. This is one of the Wilson Reefers. I think we've got a few of these in there. I actually do see a second one right there, but that's another pretty common one. Nothing too crazy going on there. Go ahead and grab that second one of those cars. No need to repeat anything about that. Here's another one that doesn't actually look that bad. And it's from one of my favorite railroads, the good old Virginian. Again, you know, not some kind of crazy, stupid color or anything. So we'll give life like a pass on that one. And here is probably one of the most common. I see something interesting there. We're going to put that there for a second. This is one of the most common lifelike cars. Probably the most common of the reefers and the billboard box cars and everything. This is the Swift Reefer. You guys have seen plenty of those before come through on these train haul videos. But here's one that I've never seen come through and definitely an interesting lifelike car. The Black & Decker billboard box car. I have never seen this. Even online, I don't recall seeing this. I don't know what set this came with specifically. But... That is a really, really nice car. I've always said, and I will always say, I love billboard cars because, you know, maybe somebody had a dad or a granddad that worked for Black & Decker, and that's something that they can put on their train set to uh, remind them of that. Here's another one of those Erie cars. Nothing too much to say there. And last but not least, oh, look at that. Another one of those Erie box cars. But as I said, those are not too, too bad. Uh, let's see, what should we go for next? I see a lot of Ather & Blue Box, and you guys know I do love Ather & Blue Box. I'm curious, we'll grab one of these longer boxes here. I think these are going to be mostly passenger cars, and that seems to be exactly the case. There's a nice Santa Fe Streamline observation car. I believe we have a full set of that car in this lot. I do love the Atherton Blue Box passenger cars. They are such a great budget passenger car, in my opinion. Um, passenger cars, as I'm sure you know, can get very, very expensive, but they have always been affordable, and they look really, really good. So happy to have that. And here is a total showstopper. Wow. Look at this, guys. A Pan Am Railways weathered boxcar. Main central reporting marks, metal wheels. It's got some beat-up couplers on there, it looks like. But that's a gorgeous freight car. Wow. That's an absolute stunner. I did not expect to see that. Definitely our highlight of the uh, lot so far. But we have over 60 cars to go. So I, I don't think it's impossible that we will get something even cooler. Let's go for another one of these longer Atherton blue boxes. Here we have a Pullman kit. This one being, looks like a Burlington Northern car of some sort, but overall it's, you know, undecorated, which is pretty cool. Looks to be, you know, sealed or at least fairly brand new, new old stock. So that's very cool. Again, falling in that category of blue box passenger cars that we like so much. Here is yet another one. And this is a total showstopper. Pennsylvania baggage car, and it's in that nice yellow, almost maintenance of way scheme. I think they have one of these up at Strasburg or somewhere up in Pennsylvania. They've got a yellow Pennsylvania car like that. You guys are going to have to let me know, though, because I'm, I could be mistaken. I'm seeing a lot of cool things written on all over these boxes, but I'm not actually sure if what's written on it is what is inside of it. Let's take a look here and look at that. Another weathered freight car. This is another, looks like a roundhouse or a blue box car, Santa Fe shot control. I don't know if I like the weathering on this one as much as I did on the Pan Am box car, but it still does not look half bad by any means. Let me go ahead and put that back in the box. 
go for another one here, Sleeper Coach, it says. Also, I do love this uh, variation of the Roundhouse box. Very, very cool. And look at this. This is a very, very classic car here. A Union and Central Pacific Pullman from, you know, around the time of maybe the Lincoln Funeral Train or something. So that's going to be really cool if somebody's got like a Mantu, a 10-wheeler they want to put with that or something. That's going to be a really, really nice piece to add to a layout. Here's another one. This is feeling rather heavy, so I'm curious what's in here. We've got a couple things, actually. A couple uh, different freight cars. I believe that Burlington Hopper is a model power, I want to say. Maybe a lifelike, but I'm pretty sure it's model power. And here is a car I've never seen before. A looks like a kit of, of Union Pacific variety there. Not sure what brand, if it's a roundhouse car. I don't think either of those actually originally came in this box. And I'm certain they didn't because this box says uh, SP Daylight on it, but not too bad. Let's go for, we'll just keep going through these longer uh, Atherm boxes here because there's some pretty cool stuff in these. Here's another piece to that Santa Fe collection I mentioned earlier. This one being, looks like the diner, if I had to guess. And here is another one. I think it's going to be part of that set. And it absolutely is, guys. The Railway Post Office car absolutely gorgeous i love those i just saw a video of uh, some of these in mexico that got bought after uh after they were retired over here it was very very cool to see i'll leave a link to that video somewhere on the screen right now gonna guess we have our baggage car in here for this set and that is actually exactly what we have in there and it's very very sharp that is a gorgeous looking car it's got knuckle couplers on it it's got the passenger walkways too which you don't see too often on these after and blue box cars so that's a very very nice surprise this one looks like we might have some kind of Rio Grande item in here, but I don't think all the markings on these boxes have been correct so far. Okay, that is not a gondola, and that is quite the uh, the weathering job. I can't say that I totally love it. I mean, I don't really know why there's like green and purple marks on there, but from a distance, that doesn't look too bad. It's a nice car in general. I love the, the big Atherin Blue Box um, covered hoppers like that. Let me know in the comments what you think about that weathering, because I'm sort of you know, on the fence about that a little bit. This box here next, this one looks like it might be a passenger car and it is, and it's a gorgeous one. The Rio Grande REA Railway Express baggage car. Almost reminds me of the uh, the ski train, which, you know, I'm sure is on purpose because they, they sort of spoofed that railroad, but this looks fantastic. Looks like all the pieces are there. Love the yellow paint scheme on that. I like I like when, when train colors are, you know, some unique colors. There aren't that many yellow uh, passenger trains out there, so that's pretty cool. Here we have yet another passenger car, and this one is another one from the Pennsylvania Railroad. I don't care for this one as much as that yellow one. The yellow one just popped so much, but this is another nice one. I've had friends that have had that full set before, and it does look really good when you get all these Afternoon Blue Box Pennsylvania cars all in one concept together. Athern Trucks. Now this, I'm very curious about does not look like a truck to me. <laughs> That's another piece to that Santa Fe set that we were just looking at. This one also looks like it might be missing a few parts or something, but again, great to have a full set. I'm pretty sure we've got almost everything, if, if not everything. The only thing that I haven't seen so far is a dome car, but maybe there'll be one in here somewhere. Here is an Amtrak car, our first Amtrak car of this lot, and another really great looking one. I've always loved the Atherin Blue Box Amtrak cars. They're super great. Amtrak stuff can get really expensive, so it's cool that they've made a, a, you know, affordable Amtrak set that people can go out and get. Now, it looks like our long Atherin blue boxes are done, but we've still got lots of short ones to go through. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. This is, of course, the most common, at least that I see the most common blue box uh, box design. And it looks like we've got a brand new Rio Grande automobile, excuse me, automobile box car kit. And it's a really sharp one. Anytime I can get any kind of brand new kit, I'm all about that because that is definitely new old stock right there. Let's take a look. I've never seen this Atherin uh, box cover before. I guess this is the yellow box era technically, but that's a really cool Boston and Maine steam engine design on there. We've even got like a great Northern Jeep going on back here. That is very cool. I've never seen that box before. And uh, appropriately, there's a Rio Grande cattle car in there to go with our Rio Grande passenger cars that we got earlier. I think I've had that car come through a few times. It's interesting. I don't see people going for cattle cars a lot. I think it's because they aren't really used anymore. And people like to get things they can see on the real railroad being used, which I definitely can understand. Back to that common box design. We've got 
a really cool car, actually. Not what I was expecting in there. I don't even know if this is an Atherin Blue Box car. Nice Rio Grande coal liner hopper with the load and everything intact there. Never seen those before, so that's pretty cool. I think there might even be a second one in here somewhere. And like clockwork, there is our second coal liner. What a neat looking car. I love that. I, I think that that kind of uh, full body gondola is still used quite a bit today. So that's very cool. I like some of these Atherin cars that do have a modern feel to them, even though they're a little bit older. This one feels kind of heavy. And that's probably because this is a full metal car in here. This is a really cool Union Pacific Road of the Streamliners hopper. This one's got some weathering on it, even got some graffiti on it. I do like this weathering job quite a bit more than that hopper from earlier. But that's certainly a nice car either way. Love that it's got some weight to it. That's one thing I always liked about O scale more than HO is the, the weight. And I feel like that really helps them perform. Another cool, slightly, you know, rarer variation of the Atherin Blue Box uh, box, if you will. And that is a car I have never seen before. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. That is so cool. I've never seen this car before. It does have some mismatched uh, trucks going on, which is rather peculiar, but that's okay. That's a really cool billboard car. I love getting those billboard cars. That'll go great with that Black & Decker uh, drill car that we saw earlier. Interestingly enough, this is a sort of custom box that somebody has put this car in, which is very cool. And that's a very common one. That's one of the Tyco Ralston Perina cars. One of these super common pieces of rolling stock from them. Peculiar to have kind of a little custom box there. Somebody definitely cared a lot about that car though, which is pretty cool. And now we've got some roundhouse cars. Let's see what we have in here. I get roundhouse stuff quite a bit less than blue box. So I like when I get this stuff. And this is a cool one, a kit for a Northern Pacific box car, a wood-sided box car even, which makes it even cooler. Uh, pretty long for a wood-sided box car, it looks like, which is very, very cool. Grab another roundhouse kit here. I do love the blueprint kind of aesthetic on these boxes. Looks very, very cool. And that's another brand new kit. It's never been assembled. That's a Southern Pacific box car. Another wood-sided box car, interestingly enough. So we're getting into some old school, truly old school um, rolling stock here. I'm curious what is in this box. These roundhouse boxes have been surprises so far. And that's definitely another surprise. I've never seen a caboose in this paint scheme before. It might even be custom. Uh, I can't totally tell, but it does have that sort of look to it that maybe somebody painted this on their own. But that's a really nice paint scheme. Love that Rio Grande logo with the speed lettering and the beautiful tiger stripe paint job. So we're gonna put that back in that box and set it aside here. Got a few more Atherin Blue Box boxes here. I'm very curious what's in this Bowser box where you guys can't even see it because the box is so big. But right here, we have a hooker tanker, the classic orange tanker, one of the most iconic tank car designs. I had plenty of these growing up in HO scale, namely the, the Tyco one, the really, really common one that they did. That's definitely a neat car. It falls in the uh, the billboard reefer, billboard car category. Next up is a another interesting uh, billboard car. First of all, someone has gone and done the custom, actually a lot of customs that they put some kind of almost track cleaner like clearance device under there not sure what that is they've put some pennies in there too so i've already gotten some return on my investment there i've gotten about seven cents profit here already so that is just awesome but that is a uh a ginger ale car so i've never seen that before but very very cool once again another cool billboard reefer to have and this is another round house and look at this our third of these really, really cool Rio Grande coal liner cars. I love that we've got a set of these because those are really, really sharp looking. So I'm definitely excited to have a full train of those available in the store. I know Rio Grande is a very popular train brand as or train railroad road name as well. Here is a billboard box car, apparently according to this label. And that seems to be the case, a Oppenheimer. Oh my gosh, Oppenheimer, like the movie that just came out. That's crazy. Um, I don't think that movie is about sausage casings, but that's what this boxcar is about. Um, that's a pretty cool one. Never had that before. So very happy to have that. And maybe, you know, a good time to have a car with that road name on it, you know, based off the popularity of, of that movie in conjunction with Barbie. Now let's look in this Bowser box. I'm very curious. I don't get a whole lot of Bowser stuff. And this is a really sharp little kit here. Looks to be, again, complete, brand new. And that's a really nice Rio Grande speed lettering box. Whoever owned this collection must have really liked the Rio Grande. And I cannot blame them. It's one of my favorites too. But that box car looks great. 
we're back in the uh, the metal sided box car realm here, so a little bit more modern stuff. Here's an Accurail kit. This one looks like it might be, yep, another box car in there. Again, an unbuilt kit and a really sharp silver Southern Pacific box car. I like the Overnight Freight logo on there as well. I've had a similar car come through before, but it was not a uh, Accurail kit, I don't believe. I don't think it was an old Mantua or something. Yet again, another brand new kit. This is just great. I love getting all these brand new kit cars. A Heinz tomato ketchup reefer. Very, very cool stuff there. I do not get enough brand new kits in the store, so I'm very, very thrilled to have that. And looks like we're back in blue box territory with this item. This is yet another Southern Pacific item, uh, another wood-sided box car. It looks like the chassis is kind of split away from the shell there, but that's a super easy fix. Very common thing on these older uh, blue box cars and stuff like that. And here's another one with a custom box. So I'm curious what's in here. And it's another one of the Ralston cars. That's very, very odd. Um, funny that both had custom little boxes, though. That's very cool. But these are certainly not going to be very expensive in the store. Those are very, very common freight cars. Um, not totally sure if they're all the way into the worthless trains realm or not. But even just saying that, I know I probably just offended somebody. I'm sorry. I love all trains. I'm just saying not maybe the most valuable thing ever. But let's take a look in this roundhouse box. Another kit. So new that even the uh, grain tops are on the sprue still, which is really neat. I love covered hoppers. Always thought those were just such a very cool piece of rolling stock and not super common in HO sets. Now this I have never seen before. Crestline models. I'm super, super curious. I've actually never seen this brand. I've never seen this box design before, but what's inside of it is, wow, this is just a total mystery to me, guys. It looks like, you know, I'm assuming some kind of kit here, but I want to see what kind of railroad it is maybe the doors or the sides of the car are in here wow this is an all metal kit so so much of a kit that you have to put the sides of the car together that is something i've just never seen before that's really really neat and i like a lot of this old packaging in there too that's a very interesting concept i never did see or never have seen a freight car we have to put like everything together like that and it's metal which is really really cool so that's gonna have some good weight to it Probably the most unique thing in this lot so far. Completely, complete curveball as to what I was expecting in here. Here's what looks like our last uh, roundhouse car of the lot. And it's a good one. A nice Rio Grande Action Road Speed Lettering High Cube. Great looking printing on this. Great looking car. That would weather up really nicely. Wouldn't take much either because it's already a pretty dull toned kind of freight car. But that's really, really sharp. So we'll go slide that back in there. We've got four more things here, it looks like. All of these have that cool little custom box that somebody made for these. Somebody definitely cared a lot about their train collection, which I definitely can appreciate. Here is an unpainted Atherin Blue Box observation car. I'm not sure if that was painted and somebody painted over it or if it was always unpainted. To me, it kind of looks like somebody put like a bronze kind of paint scheme on it or something. Here is probably a Pennsylvania car. That's exactly what's in there. A coach to match that baggage car that we got earlier. Again, that's a really sharp set. Love that classic brown sort of streamliner look. Really, really nice stuff there. Down to the final two here, guys. I'm very, very curious. Up first, we have some, I don't even know what that says, guys. I'm very, very confused. And I don't think that's what it said, but it's a Hydra Cushion uh, SP box car right there. Really, really nice one. A little bit of like light weathering. It looks like it's been done to this and it really does a good job. Just giving it a slight bit of a dirt look without making it too, too grunged up for the layout. And our last piece in this amazing rolling stock collection, guys, is looks like maybe another Pennsylvania car. And that's exactly what's in there, guys. Great to end on a good note there. With a nice little Pennsylvania coach. But I hope you guys enjoyed going through this collection with me. I really enjoyed getting to open it on camera in front of you guys. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe. There's a lot more hauls like this coming soon. But in the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.